good morning and happy December 10th. I'm feeling a little bit better today, not 100%. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a makeup tutorial today, but I do want to go through some gift ideas for babies that are, you know, just born. They're three to six, cause my daughter's going, she's three months going into six months stuff. So I have a bunch of fun ideas that if you have no idea what to ask your family for, these are it. I will say that um, I'm a very practical person when it comes to gifts. Like I'll get a couple fun things, but I love practical for Christmas and keeping birthdays more on the fun side. So if you're like that, and honestly, when you have a baby, practical is best because you always need diapers, you always need wipes, things like that. So we're gonna talk about that, but for now, I am going to make myself some lunch and get ready, and then I will get everything rounded up for the video, and then we will film it, and yeah, so. Let's go. For lunch today, I'm just having a salad with some ranch. It's really a small salad, but I didn't want too much. And then I have a little bit of cottage cheese, and then I made some salmon. I normally make mine with olive oil, and then I put garlic salt on it. And then today I added um, everything but the bagel seasoning. I've never done that before, but everything but the bagel seasoning makes everything better. So we're gonna try that. So this is the lunch for today. And of course, cocoa melon is on. It's never not. <laughs> My child is going through sleep regression, and I am just not winning with the whole sleep regression. So this is going great. So, about to do the 10 minute check on her. Why aren't you napping? That's my life right now. <laughs> you guys. The FedEx man just showed up to my house. I don't have pants on and I opened the door and like walked out and like. Okay, so I have some things that will be stocking stuffers and gifts. I'm a very practical person when it comes to gifts. I literally have asked for diapers and wipes this year. Um, a lot of these things you probably did get for your baby shower. I did not have a lot for my baby shower, which is totally fine. I am, I mean, with COVID, I also had a really small baby shower, but, um, ask for diapers and wipes. Don't be afraid to ask for the bigger sizes of them. It never hurts. I know you want your baby's Christmas to be this great magical thing. But just remember that I know you're going to remember, but they're not. But I would personally, I would rather remember that I gave them what they needed rather what I wanted to give them, if that makes sense. Especially if you're on a budget like me, I don't have all the money in the world to buy my baby whatever I want. Even if I did, I would probably still buy practical. Um, yeah, so. These are a lot of things that I think are necessary for babies, whatnot. You may not think they are, but these are the things that have helped me with my daughter a ton. So I will just get right into it. I gotta get on. All of this will be on my Amazon list. I will put the Amazon list down below. It's going to say baby gifts for three to six month olds. If you guys want me to make more videos of different age groups, I will. Um, I'm kind of learning as I go. I could definitely do a newborn one. I could definitely do zero to three, like kind of make those together. But um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So like I said, don't be afraid to ask for diapers and wipes. Um, if you use Drift, I don't use Drift. I just use Tide Pods. Ask for baby Tylenol for the stocking, things like that. Um, this Amazon list has a bunch of things, a bunch of products that I personally love myself and what I have asked for for her for Christmas as well. Some things we already have. So when these are for three to six months, I will post pictures of every product as we go through them. The first thing on the list is these Rattle Foot Finder socks. They also make them for the wrist too. These are awesome. So when your baby's getting ready to sit up and crawl to get those ab muscles strong they need to like be grabbing at their feet picking their feet up things like that so these little rattles as you can see pictured they go on the baby's foot 
and the baby can find their foot and kind of grab for them and they get interested in it more so their ab muscles grow stronger, which is great for sitting up and all of that. I have a couple of them myself. I use them on her all the time. She is just interested in her feet in general. Um, but these definitely make it more fun, more fun for her. She does laugh at them sometimes, so that's really cute to me. Again, with saying practical, I literally don't just mean diapers and wipes. I mean to teach your baby things. I am not a huge fan in just random toys. I love toys that are real life and they help the baby learn real life things, if you know what I mean. I know that all toys have some sort of learning purpose, but a lot of them do not. So I am just one of those people that really likes learning toys. They are still just as fun. And if you're a mom, you know that the baby would rather go for the remote than they would their actual toy. So again, the other thing, these are great. Um, I have a couple Itsy Ritzy ones. Itsy Ritzy is expensive. These ones are only $10. They're the Nubby Soothing Teething Mitten with Hygienic Travel Bag. Um, it's a one count for $10, but they don't go bad. You only really need one or two. If you want to put them on both hands, you can for teething these are great um my daughter really loves to chew on her hands so i'll put them on there when i notice that she's chewing on her hands just so she doesn't she likes to stick her fingers in the back of her throat and gag herself i will insert a clip of her doing it here i don't know why she decided to do that but she did does it all the time i will put these mitts on her and she's not super as interested in chewing them as her hand, but it gets her away from chewing on her hand. The next thing is this sit to stand learning walker. It says frustration free packaging, it's hilarious. I love these little walkers. They can fold up so they can play with them on the ground. They have all these different buttons. You don't have to get this specific one. This is just one I saw and it has lots of colors and different things to do. I have like a cheapo version. I have like a second hand one. It might even be like a sixth hand one. That's the other thing is you don't have to buy brand new. You can go to a secondhand baby store and they have these things super duper nice and clean. So I would definitely look there if you're looking for cheaper too. And then when the baby's ready, they can start pulling themselves up on this. They can start walking with it. It comes in four different colors. I love it. These are super awesome. These are new. These are the little dimple digits. So they push in the buttons, if that makes sense. Um, this one has numbers on it. There's some that are just playing. It teaches them to push like buttons that are bigger, smaller, all sorts of things like that. Excuse me, it runs for $20. They do make them a little bit cheaper. Again, secondhand store, I'm sure you can find it for probably like $4. Okay, a baby gym. This one I found and I just randomly put on here. I don't really know how the reviews are in this, but it seems like a really nice one. You can get this for your newborn too. I've had this for quite a while for her that really interests her. But um, now she loves to try and grab for the little dangly things on it. It's great for motor skills. Um, the end has like a little piano on it so they can practice kicking and it makes sound. So it gets them interested in kicking and getting those leg muscles working, those ab muscles working. Great product. This thing I love. I got this as a baby shower gift while off my registry and it is on sale right now. So run, go spend your money because it is originally $100. It is on sale for $79 right now. But this thing is so versatile. I love it so much. When I saw this, I had to have it. It's super easy to clean. Like it's impossible to let it get moldy or get gross stuff all over the seat. It is the Ingenuity Smart Clean Trio Elite 3 in 1 High Chair. I got mine from Target. This one's on Amazon. It, everything's on Amazon. But it goes to three different levels. If you watch my baby registry must have, I also have this on there too. Three different levels. You can have a high chair, a booster, and a toddler chair. So it works for a long, long time. And it has wheels on it, which I love because then an important thing is to, while you're cooking, it's nice to have your baby in the kitchen with you and kind of teach them and you can give them like things that you're cooking with to feel the texture of it. So they know what the texture of what they're about to eat feels like on its own. Or if you're doing baby led weaning, also perfect as well. It's very, very important to, in my opinion, to have your baby cook with you. Even if it's macaroni and cheese, having them watch you cook is a great learning lesson and this seat is just great she could color on it she can do whatever on it the next thing also was on my baby shirt registry must-haves which i mean now she's getting she i was at the video here 
she randomly just sat herself up and was chilling with that for like 10, maybe 30 seconds. I didn't record very much because I was a little scared that she was gonna fall, but she was just chilling and I was like, okay, okay, whatever. But um, this is the summer my bath seat. Um, so it screws to the sides of the, the bathtub and it stabilizes itself. So the baby can still play, but they can't fall backwards. They can't fall forward. They can't, it less of a chance of drowning, but they can still play, do all the fun stuff. And you have them contained in one area because bath time isn't always the best. Eating utensils, spoons, forks, bowls, whatever, because your baby's gonna start eating sooner rather than later. Some babies start eating at four months. So babies eat, eat a five, six, whenever the doctor says they're ready or you think that they're ready. Um, so I definitely put a bunch of those, but I will be doing baby lead weaning, which if you don't know, that's when you just give the baby the food and they feel the texture. So she probably won't be eating until she's six months old, but that's plenty okay with me because I baby lead weaning goes towards... Sorry, I'm like a dog when I see school. Baby led weaning helps with picky eaters. I don't want a picky eater. Nick is a picky eater. Sorry, Nick, but you are. I don't want her to be a picky eater. I want her to be able to just eat whatever. And that way she might have a better chance of being healthy and like the rest of us, so. Um, but I will be making, so you know, like when you have like those leftover fruits, leftover vegetables from dinner or whatever, I always do, because I can't eat them all on my own. Um, I've started to use the Kindy Twist pouches. You know me and Kindy. I I can't I can't not talk about baby products and not put Kindy in there. Um, they have their little foodie baby maker system. So they have like a bottle that squirts directly into them. You can use a funnel. They have spoons that go onto them. They have little nipples. Not little nipples. It's like the little, you know, like the applesauce ones, those little squish pouches. You can make those yourself, which is a thousand times better. I've already started, so whenever we don't eat all the green beans, whenever we don't eat all whatever, or if I have fresh fruit left over that's about to go bad, I will get the baby bullet out, put them in the little foodie pouches, and then I put them in the freezer, and then they'll be ready to go whenever she is. So great product again, love it. It's only $20 right now on Amazon and has free shipping. Let me do these last two and then we'll get into some more stocking stuff or ideas because stockings are hard. That is the hardest thing to do. Um, a great, great product is the Frida Baby 3-in-1 Humidifier Diffuser Nightlight uh, Machine. It's, I love Frida Baby products. This is on sale right now for $33.99, so run and go get it. You save $16. It's huge. It's normally $50. Um, so you can have um, essential oils go through it. So like lavender really helps her sleep and calm down, so I will put... I sent this to my grandma to get her for Christmas. Um, so you could put essential oils in it and then it's a human fetter too because she gets so many boogers and she just has always stuffy. So this will be great for her. And I think humidifiers are just great for babies in general just to help them breathe a little bit better at night. Um, and it has a nightlight on it, so it's even better. And then the other thing, I, this is a, still a little soon, but because there's not really like, I don't even know how to say this, but I want her to be potty trained before she's one. So as soon as she is like, I don't really know how to describe it. I've watched a hundred videos on it. Like when your baby is ready to potty train, like when's the best time to do it? I am probably going to start around nine months starting to get her potty trained. Um, I've been watching this YouTuber. If I find the video again, she got her daughter potty trained at nine months and four days. That's freaking amazing. Diaper changing sucks. So I'm going to be doing my best to potty train. So I added a potty seat on here. And if you aren't planning on getting them potty trained by one, leave it for their birthday. It's a great birthday gift. But I went ahead and added it for Christmas because I want her to be potty trained before she's one. So now I have some great stocking stuffers, which are all by Frida Baby. Of course, we have the nasal aspirator with extra filters. You can always get the filters, put them in the stocking. The Frida Baby Vapor Bath Bombs. These are great for this time of year because everyone's got stuff, you know, the springtime too, when all the, the body's getting used to the new weather and things, these are great. They, al they also make bath drops, so you just squirt these into the water. They also make sleep bath bombs. I have not tried the sleep bath bombs. They're newer. People tell me that they love them. 
my daughter has to take a bath every night in order to go to sleep and sleep through the night. And I mean, these might just make her zonk right away. I don't know. So I added those to my list. And then the Frida Baby Triple Angle Tooth Hugger and um, some smaller teething things. There's one that I got from Target that I haven't found on Amazon yet. It's got like the numbing stuff in it and you could just put it on the, the little thingy. <laughs> I'm so bad with words. On the, on the, on the little chewy thingy that she's gonna chew on and it helps like numb and soothe the gums, things like that. Um, really any of the smaller Frida Baby products I'm putting in her stocking. I'm also gonna put some little puffs in there, just things like that. Um, yeah. These are practical gifts you can get for your baby. Go ahead, get them the fun things. Some of these are fun. But, um, these are just what I think is practical, what I think are great gifts for three to six months of age. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, tomorrow, maybe I'll get to do the makeup tutorial. We will see. I'm kind of hoping to film it tonight when Nick gets home. That way he can watch Denver because doing a tutorial with Denver is not always the easiest. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will link this Amazon list down below. I'm seriously like a dog when it sees a squirrel. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys all in the next one, which will be tomorrow, of course. So, bye guys.